If you place a coil of copper wire in a solution of silver nitrate and leave it for a while, a few things happen. First of all, the copper wire becomes covered in silvery black crystals. The solution, originally colourless, turns blue. What's happening here is a displacement reaction. The silver nitrate and the copper have changed into silver, which forms as crystals, and copper nitrate, the blue solution. This is an example of a redox reaction. So, when copper is added to silver nitrate, the copper displaces silver from its solution. We call this a displacement reaction, and it happens because the copper is more reactive than silver. So it displaces or pushes out the silver from its solution. A similar thing happens if you dip an iron nail into copper sulphate solution. The iron nail comes out copper plated. That's because the iron plus copper sulphate is making iron sulphate plus copper. The solid iron is added to the aqueous copper sulphate to make aqueous iron sulphate and solid copper. A common practical to do on displacement reactions is to take a number of metals and their solutions and add each metal to each other solution. This can be done in test tubes or as here in a spotting tile. You then look to see whether a reaction happens, whether displacement occurs. You might see a change in colour of the solution or you might see a coating on the surface of the metal. Your results would go into a grid such as this, where each metal is combined with each other solution. If you see a reaction occurring, then you would normally put a tick in the reaction box. So for example, if iron is added to copper sulphate, a reaction occurs and you put a tick in there. These typical results show that magnesium has reacted with all of the other solutions. That's because magnesium is the most reactive of these metals. It's able to displace the metal from each of the solutions of their salts. So when magnesium is added to copper sulphate, for example, it forms magnesium sulphate and copper is displaced. That makes magnesium the most reactive of the metals. By looking at the number of ticks, we can see that zinc is the second most, followed by iron, followed by tin, and lead, and copper is the least reactive of these metals. So in a displacement reaction, a more reactive metal will displace a less reactive metal from a solution of its salt. Now let's look at these reactions in terms of oxidation and reduction. Let's look in more detail with the example we started with. When iron reacts with copper to sulphate, it makes iron sulphate and copper. And here it is in terms of the symbols. The iron atoms react with the copper sulphate, which is made out of copper 2 plus ions and sulphate 2 minus ions in aqueous solution, to make an aqueous solution of iron sulphate, made up of iron 2 plus ions and sulphate 2 minus ions, and copper atoms. The sulphate ions have not changed in the reaction and therefore we can consider that these are spectator ions. So the actual reaction is between the Fe atoms with the copper ions to make Fe ions and copper atoms. Looking at each of these separately we can see that the iron atom has lost two electrons to form an iron 2 plus ion whereas the copper 2 plus ion has gained two electrons to form a copper atom. And now let's look more deeply at what's happening in terms of oxidation and reduction. Finally, let's look at this displacement reaction in terms of oxidation and reduction.
a redox reaction. First of all, the iron atom has changed into an iron ion. And it's done this by losing two electrons. Oxidation is loss, so this describes oxidation. We can say the Fe atom has been oxidized to the Fe2 plus ion. The copper iron in solution has become a copper atom by gaining electrons. Well, reduction is gain, so this is a reduction reaction. But what's caused that copper iron to become reduced? Well, it's reacted with the Fe atom. So the Fe atom must be our reducing agent. And what's caused our Fe atom to become oxidized to an Fe2 plus iron? Well, the reaction with the copper 2 plus iron. That must mean, therefore, our copper 2 plus iron is our oxidizing agent.